Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. In today's video, this is the November 2020 New York Liberty International Airport update for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Um, but I also did a poll on Instagram and asked you guys um, that I'm doing an airport update. Should I do it? And you guys said yes, so this is why I'm doing the November airport update, even though my board isn't finished. Um, but yeah. And then I also did on Instagram, should I give you guys an airport tour, um, even though my board isn't finished, and you guys said overwhelmingly, 100% actually, yes. So first, uh, we are going to um, do the uh, flights, and then I'm going to show you guys around the airport and give you um, a little bit of news about the channel. So, this is the November 2020 airport update, and without further ado, let's get started. So off the airport update, we have this United 777-300 in the new livery. Uh, he's just getting passengers loaded on board, uh, and he is preparing for a flight out to San Francisco after coming in from Frankfurt. Uh, and he's been sitting at the stand uh, since last night. Next to the United 777-300, we have this Alaska 737-800 in the Honoring Those Who Serve livery. Uh, he just pulled in from his... Seattle flight and he'll be loading up for a flight out to Los Angeles. Next to the Alaska, we have this blank livery FedEx 767-300. Um, he's not going anywhere for quite a while. Um, he was recently purchased from Ethiopian um, as a 767-300 in their retro livery. Um, it was flown to Newark uh, after stopping in Lome from Addis Ababa. Uh, and it's been sitting in the stand for three weeks, like I said. They just took off the livery, and he is preparing to go to the hangars at, here at Newark to change the inside of the cabin from a passenger configuration to a cargo configuration. So basically, he came in from Lome, and he'll be heading into uh, the hangar for a few months. Next, the former Ethiopian 763 slash FedEx 763. We have this United 737-800 in the new livery. This is split scimitars, by the way. Uh, he came in from Houston to Continental just now, uh, and he'll be loading up with passengers in about an hour for its outbound flight to Denver. Next to the United 737-800 in the new livery, you have two empty national stands, and in between them you have this Spirit AC-21-200 in the bananas livery. He came in from Atlanta and he is preparing for his turnaround out to Myrtle Beach. Next to the Spirit AC-21 in the bananas livery, you have a blank international stand uh, and you have a cluster of aircrafts, but we'll first start with the United 737-800 in the new livery. Uh, he came in from Chicago O'Hare and he'll be preparing to load on passengers for a flight out to Houston. Next to him is a United 787-10 Dreamliner in the Continental livery. Uh, he came in from London Heathrow and pretty soon is, will, should I say, be loading up passengers for a flight out to Frankfurt. Next to the United 787-10 Dreamliner in the Continental livery, you have um, this United ERJ-175 in the Continental Library. He came in from Indianapolis and he'll be loading out for a flight loading out. Sorry, uh, he'll be loading up passengers for a flight out to Raleigh-Durham. Okay, so with the aircraft part of the update done, uh, like the flights and stuff, I want to show you guys on the airport because you guys, for some reason, really want to know. Uh, what my airport's gonna look like. It's currently not finished, so this is what it's hopefully going to look like. Basically, um, what I did here was I did a pattern. Um, I did international gate, um, mainline, international, mainline, international, mainline, international, mainline, etc. And then over there, I did a regional gate because there wasn't enough room for a mainline gate over there. And then over here, I decided to fit in two more international gates. And maybe I'm going to put a taxiway here. And here, I'm just gonna have just a dedicated regional spot of the airport and then over there is going to be the cargo gates i expect to have four either four or five uh i still haven't decided and these are the taxiway this taxiway goes here and meets with this one uh at the cargo stands and the blank spots here the wooden spots that isn't spray painted uh that is going to be where modeling grass will go 
And that is the um, airport tour. Uh, I also changed my name to Garden City Aviation from Garden Aviation. Uh, so don't get confused between the two. Garden City Aviation, Adamic Avia, and Garden Aviation, they're both the same thing. It is the last time I changed my channel name, and this is a promise. Like, I promise this, that this is the last time I will change my channel name. But with that being said, that does conclude this airport update slash airport tour. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't watch my videos. And comment down below what is your favorite route uh, and what you think of my new airport board. But with that being said, once again, thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.